then explain. Now the point is this. <laughs> These time though, I cracked on now with the with the real the meat of why we're here tonight, why I've gathered you tonight. This lecture that I'm giving in. <laughs> so I want to talk about why we the British are permanently one step ahead of the rest of the world at all times. Yeah? One full step ahead of the world at all times. And that is because of our secret weapon, what I like to call British thinking. Now, British thinking is the finest bloody thinking in the world. Because <laughs> British thinking is about combining things and creating something greater than those things from those things. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be any more specific than that. Now, <laughs> now this pint I'm holding my hand here is a classic example of British thinking in action, isn't it? Because yeah? the glass itself was manufactured <laughs> in France. <laughs> Arsons, the beer. <laughs> the beer they're in is, of course, lager, which originated in Germany. <laughs> Two things together with British thinking, and what have you got? Hey, a great British pint! You see? <laughs> British thinking, now. Yeah. British thinking is the finest thing in the world. It won us the Second World War. No help from no one else. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Neil. No. <laughs> You're not in a fight from the start, Squire. You're not in a fight at all. <laughs> You was just lucky, mate. We was there to point you in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, America's efforts on their own have been far from glorious. <laughs> we stayed out of the Vietnam War for one simple reason. We wanted our war films to remain cheerful. <laughs> you only sing when you're winning. I mean... <laughs> The damn busters are going down in flames, one in three, but they're chipper about it, aren't they? Hey? <laughs> yes, we forget. War is hell, Neil, I know, but only when you're fucking losing. <laughs> yeah, point is this. <laughs> point is this. <laughs> British thinking. It's the finest thing won us the Second World War due to the invention of the bouncing bomb. Now. The bouncing bomb is a classic of British thinking. The bouncing bomb with which we flooded the Germans out in Holland or so, I don't know. It's a detail, it's not relevant. Now, the bouncing bomb <laughs> is a classic of British thinking, isn't it? Yeah? Because plenty of people have made things that bounce over the years, didn't they? Yeah? And plenty of people have made things that explode. But only the British, with British thinking, took them two separate and rival ideas. <laughs> and come up with a bouncing bomb. And I think, to celebrate the millennium, what we should not have done was built a giant tent on a disused gas works. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 40 pound solution to a 10 pound problem, if ever there was one. No. <laughs> what we should have done was obvious. We should have got that Lancaster bomb we got that still works, yeah? dusted her down, built a fresh bouncing bomb, and attacked the Thames barrier for old time's sake. <laughs> Show the world we still fucking got it, yeah? <laughs> Flood Peckham. <laughs> Put Britain. Put Britain back on the map by taking Peckham clean off of it. <laughs> the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few on that one, and then on the return journey, the pilot could fly up the Severn River, take them two bridges out, cut the Welsh off permanent. <laughs> you can always dream. Now the point is this. <laughs> British thinking is the finest thing in the world. Yeah? Here's an example. Steve, you ready for this? You ready, Steve? Here we go. Yeah? Chickens. Yeah? Chickens. <laughs> Chickens <laughs> come from China originally. Did you know that, Steve? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. You've learned something, didn't you? Yeah? The evidence is there, though, Steve, isn't it? Yeah? C H I chicken. C H I China. <laughs> <laughs> Staring in the face, isn't it? Well, do you stare in the face, actually? Go on, do it. Like that. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Chickens 
come from China. Spuds come from the New World, South America. Did you know that? Spuds come from America originally. I know, they ended up in Ireland. Yes, you're right, Steve. <laughs> the Irish ended up in America. Some sort of trade-off, <laughs> I'll let you decide who's better off on that deal. Now, <laughs> yeah, what is this? British thing is the finest thing in the world. Huh? Chickens come from China. Spuds come from South America. Weaving, Steve, weaving, yeah, comes from the ancient Sumerian civilization found in the third millennium BC in what is now southern Iraq. Did you know that? No. No. You've, that's three things you've learned. You, you need to go to more pub quizzes, don't you, Steve? <laughs> Brush up on your general if you want to make the team. Yeah. <laughs> Chickens, spuds, weaving. From all over the world! But it was the British, with British thinking, who invented chicken in a basket with chips. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're top dog number fucking one. <laughs> Beat that Neil with your man on a bloody moon, eh? <laughs> chicken in a basket, £4.50. Yeah. <laughs> Man on the moon, eight billion bucks. <laughs> you didn't think it through, did you, squire? <laughs>